So this is the ML3350 uh, generation 6 and this is going to be our server. So reason behind we, we are doing this rather than generation 5 is that uh, there is no uh, SATA support with the generation 5. So I did get one of these PCI SATA cards and it's no go. It doesn't recognize the SSD with this. So we did lose like 15 euros with this. I can sell this away. The other reason is also that uh, the generation 5 doesn't really have that much future plans over the generation six, uh, 6 so I did get the HPA uh, SAS HPA card from the eBay it's it's coming somebody did ask like 70 euros in the local marketplace and I was like no I'm not going to do that so we did lose like the fans we can use are still here and so basically we did lose only the the memory uh, RAM sticks so it's about 22 euros eat all the together then we did basically lose only the processor what I did get for the uh, generation 5 at the below so that is something like 12 euros. So it's total of 24 euros. And rest of that we can just still use here. So let's go with the footer plan of this. This is getting hot. And I did try mount the fan here, but it, the server goes crazy with the it's rebooting so it, it it doesn't boot it says that we need to get get this um, system fun number three away because the system doesn't need that but doesn't make any sense i did have a little bit ram sticks laying around the server stuff here so we have 12 gigabits so, so we have six two gigabit sticks here so the plan is the card is going to be here and then we are having this fan here, this fan here, we are replacing both of these, we are adding more fans at the front. But we need to just figure out a little bit other way to do that because the system is going crazy if you have the... We have still the fan splitters but I don't know what is... Do we want to split like this fan so we can have both fans here? And we need to get this cool at somehow. But it's it's going to be really close to the card. So we need to cool this and the card same time. But yeah, I'm I'm replacing these with the uh, with the grill one so we can push more air at the back of the case. So now this is done. This is taken away from here. We have two holes here, two holes here, one here. These three are for the 12 millimeter. What is going to be here? Like that. Then this old CPU fan, but is never used. But it was supposed to be CPU fan in the other. It's going to be here, blowing the air for the PCIe card and uh, or the SAS HPA card and the the heatsink. What is getting lot of heat on the board? So that fit here. That is, I think it's. 
there is no w or there is way but there is no way to make bigger hole with this because we are getting or using lot of these discs and yeah it's then I take some knob away from here so now we when I level this up with the hammer I I should have room for one more 12 millimeter fan and we have the only problem is that the hole is where is the screw hole but we can screw that from the from the both bottom holes and at the here so two 120 millimeter fans and one uh, 80 millimeter if I remember right yep 80 millimeter fan because we are going to use a fan who, what is going to be installed in the front when I get that so we have here we have the setup it's done thermal paste it is new on the CPU cooler we have the Arctic F9 fan here here and this is just temporarily and as you can hear it's pretty damn quiet <clears throat> I did order a little bit more RAM these are the old one from the server just two gigabyte sticks so we have nine channels or nine slots for each CPU so I did order four gigabyte sticks uh, three of those so we can basically have 24 gigabyte of RAM uh, I don't know do I want to use that or do I just want to have like 12 gigabytes is or three four gigabyte sticks is about 20 euros from eBay so basically we can have like 36 gigabyte if needed pretty easily we can just upgrade that all the time or get the 4 gigabyte sticks in and when we have more time money and resources we can just even get like 3 times 8 gigabyte sticks it's pretty quiet I'm happy with the build so far the uh, Truenas installation was pain in the ass. The only Truenas what I can fit to the the Truenas is not working with the the sand disk stick. So there is no way with any software to get that stick to work. I don't know why. So the only or the latest freeness or trueness what I can fit to this stick is 12.0 U8 so that is what I did install then I did update that all the way to the trueness 13 and that is how we go I did play with the open media vault and everything but I'm, I'm not that I didn't somehow I did like the open media vault so the server is here we have the external one terabyte hoarder there, what I'm installing here. This is basically just a trash drive, so to speak. So where I just put stuff what I maybe want to have, or maybe I just like movies or videos <coughs> with what I just watch and then throw away, so to speak. It's it's coming from this horrible old buffalo case but I <clears throat> had it already changed the disk here once and with this case it's running pretty damn hot you mm, yeah you can touch the drive but uh, you cannot keep your fingers on the drive that long it's pretty damn hot So I was thinking like, how the hell I'm installing the drives here? <clears throat> so then I did find these from the junk pile. So I think these are for this case. 
Too bad we have only uh, three of these. So the final piece for before adding more drives is here. This is the Akasa controller what we are using for the front panel. Uh, I'm just screw unscrewing this whole USB 3 because we don't have USB 3. And I'm not sure how I'm going to install this at the front. Maybe I need to just cut the front panel piece. So that that is the PCIe X8, I think. And the big thanks for the server shop for really fast shipping the Ho 100, uh, 200 and giving me five cable ties. That is pretty handy when you have like server like tish and you need to route all the fan cables and SATA cables and SAS cables and power cables in this small apartment here. Also we need to install this somehow, so let me try to install this and come back after that. So everything is fine, the HO200 is installed, that was giving me really hard time, I did fight with the card like four holes. The only way how I did this work was like uh, uh, flashing this with my own PC, so using the DOS. Uh, command line for the start and then going to the UEFI -E so basic just mm, go to UEFI -E shell I did do this because I did try this with the PC, uh, server itself so then I did go, to, did go to the DOS prompt I did do all this mega rex then I did go to the back to the UEFI, then I did do this, and it was it was giving me hard time with the, when I did try with the server to download or upload the firmware. So I think that is something what you need to check if you are doing that. So after following all these steps, expect this so uh, P7 P90 stuff, I did go, did go straight to the P19 and I did go to the SAS add and I did move that card back to the server and now it's working fine. The Truenas scaled it, recognized all the drives and everything and then I did face new problem. The cable is too short to go around the fan. So that is no go. I did hammer this little bit down. So we can just fit the uh, fit the cables here. I need to order order bigger ones. I need to measure how long cables I need. I want to have the cables run to the bottom of the case or the left side of the case, run top of the SATA cables, and then goes nicely here, and then just cable tie or Let's use a tease to the handle here. The card is running pretty hot, so we have two grillers here or two mesh and one here. And the 80 millimeter is pushing pretty hard here. Two to one twenties are okay. And for controlling those, let's go and see. And the cable is running pretty fine here, not no problems. So here we have one terabyte, one terabyte, two terabytes, two terabytes. That is just for the start. And now we can So you can parallel here that this is the 
80 mm fan. Now it's the minimum, and now it's the maximum. And I have two, two more hoarded trays or mounts coming, so we get rid of these two holes here, so the airflow is going through the discs here. And I'm installing the why this is not installed. So I'm installing one of these here and I move this here and then I install a second one here and I cut cut hole for the Akasa fan controller. So the mesh one is moving one slot over there and then we can do bad we can use the USB three but I'm pretty happy with the fan controller itself. It's the metal, it's black, so it's not sticking out too much and when we get the black mesh around it, it will be pretty nice. So let's continue. And the one terabyte what is inside it's basically just for the trust drive. And all the holes at the sides I'm going to tape up. So the airflow is going to only be run by the fans. So it's not messing the system too much. And these are a little bit pain in the ass. <laughs> 